Camper Rick here. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Time to get outdoors and change your backyard. Let's go camping. Today we're visiting a really neat park up in Northern California. In fact, it's way up near the Oregon border, north of Eureka. Eureka is about right there. And up above it is Crescent City. And Camp Klamath is about 30 minutes or 30 miles south of, of Crescent City. The park is situated right where the river mouth meets the Pacific Ocean. In fact, in this overview, you'll see how it flows down from the right over to the left, which is the ocean. The Klamath River is actually the southernmost river in what's called America's Wild Rivers Coast. You have the Klamath River, the Smith River, in Oregon, the Winchuck River, the Chetco River, Pistol River, the Rogue River, Elk River, and the Sixes River. What that means is all kinds of river fun, especially fishing for salmon or for sturgeon. It's just a great place to have fun on the water. This postcard shared by Mr. V.A. Benson shows how popular fishing has been all the way back to 1957. Once you get off Highway 101, there's two campgrounds on the road. You need to find the one with the teepee. You'll check in at the front counter and they're gonna assign you to your campsite. If you have a tent or a trailer and like the idea of seclusion, you're going to want to choose this section. It's also the closest section to the bathrooms. I usually come to Camp Klamath with friends, so I prefer the Glen. You can see it's open, there's room for us to play games. If you have kids or young people with you, you might prefer the meadow. You can see there's horseshoe pits, volleyball, there's playground for the kids. It's just a nice open area. The park staff maintains a beautiful garden, which is available to us as campers to come in and use. They've got potatoes, kale, green beans. It's just incredible. A little insider information. This didn't used to be a big meadow. They mow six inches further every time, and they get a little help from this guy right here. Well, that's right. I, I got a job to do. Don't bother me while I'm eating. I got to watch out for the boss. Some of you may prefer the Mesa. That's where you have your full hookups, water, electric, and sewage. Time to put the girls away. Okay, girls, come on, let's go. Let's drive. Fresh eggs in the morning from what used to be a pop-up tent trailer. Ingenious. And a show it is. You're in the heart of the Redwood National Park, so you're going to want to take a day and go look at the redwoods. They're humongous trees. There's a perspective for you right there. And while you're out hiking, you may run into one of these guys called a banana slug. Any guess at why they got that name? A highly recommended day trip is to Gold Bluffs Beach and the Fern Canyon. You'll drive first about five miles through this foliage, lots of redwoods, and then you'll see the beach area. Your entire trip is on a dirt road, but it's well maintained. You don't want to bring an RV back here, just a truck or a car would work. At the end of the road is the parking lot. You get out and take a short hike to this, the Fern Canyon. Some of the scenes for Jurassic Park movies were filmed here. If you leave the park, turn right and head towards the beach, you'll come upon a Yurok Indian village. Occasionally, they will gather here and have special events for the Yurok Indian tribe, the largest in California. And once at the village, you can walk on down to the beach there and enjoy some fishing or just walk along the beach. On the way into the park from 101, you'll notice this bear. He marks the spot where the bridge used to be. Christmas week of 1964, this area was hit with the heaviest rain ever recorded and it took out the Douglas Memorial Bridge. If you want some excitement, you can go across the bridge toward the Klamath Township and get on the Klamath River boats. It's a blast! And a little further north on 101 is Trees of Mystery. Just a great place to take your family and enjoy nature. Now there's 4th of July celebrations and then there's Crescent City's 4th of July celebration. 
town gets together for a parade and they have some phenomenal beach fireworks. In fact, the people all along the beach set off fireworks. Do you like crab meat? We do, and we love to go crabbing in Crescent City at Citizen's Dock. Isn't he beautiful and yummy? Battery Point Lighthouse and Museum are located at the foot of A Street. It's still an active lighthouse, and it was first lit with oil lamps back on December 10, 1856. Tours are given, but only when low tide permits access. Enough of the excursions. Let's get back to camp for some good food. It's Saturday night. Time for the weekly barbecue. Hey. Come on, Bob. Okay, Doug. Let's get you a good piece here. Give me a nice one there. How about that, that one? That'll really get good. some more. Thank you much. Okay. we got plenty of salmon. Okay. Have a guess at where those vegetables came from? After dinner, it's time for some good music and relaxation. Top old Tom Moore, a bummer show from the good old golden days. I ramble around from town to town and call me Rose. The campfire stays lit as long as there's someone there to enjoy it. Saturday dinners are usually hosted in the campground meadow or here on the entry deck. Notice that Aaron's putting on his special Bigfoot rub. Makes the fish and chicken just absolutely delicious. It's good camping, good people, good food, good fun, and good music. Just about a year ago, Lord, I said I'm on the road. Oh, Lord, stuck in low dial again. Hey, come for a stay here at Camp Klamath. You're between a river and a pavilion of trees. It's quiet here. It's peaceful. Very welcoming place. The stars are abundant. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe so you'll receive all of our Campground RV Park reviews. Let's go camping! How many books?